we're gonna be using big swim baits to catch some enormous bass, guys. We're gonna be hunting for big, big bass with big, big swim baits. This is actually an eight inch mag draft by Mega Bass. This sucker is a big swim bait. Already got a lot of teeth marks on it because we've caught some on it. But we're gonna be trying to put this thing to work to catch some big bass. I also brought a jig right here, more of like a small jig with just a chunk trailer, black and blue. We'll throw this around a little bit as well, but mainly what I wanna focus on this morning is definitely this big swim bait to see if we can get those big bites. But if you guys are new to the channel, you have not subscribed yet, be sure to do so, hit that subscribe button. Also hit the notification bell, and if you guys have been enjoying the content, like the video, leave a comment below, let me know what you think. But heck, we're gonna go ahead and get this thing started. Big swim bait action, maybe a little bit of jig action as well. Let's get it. All right, here we go. Big mag draft. This is no games, boys. This is a uh, very large swim bait. It's got the magnet on the bottom so the treble connects. And this is a big bass catching machine, let me tell you. So we're gonna give this big guy a try. Hopefully we can catch a just toad on it today. But if we get bit, he's gonna be big. Boys, we gonna put this down for just quite a second and pick up the jig. See if we can at least get the monkey off her back today. You know, nothing wrong with that. Are you, what the, all right. That was not how I was expecting to start it. Not only with a dink, but he ate a jig like a topwater. He must have been, he, he look at how he ate it too. He must have been fall, or he must have been looking at it right before I started reeling it up. Sucker ate it, let me tell you that. <laughs> Just a pound, not even. Jeez. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, he ate it the same way. Dude, are you kidding me? Look how he ate that sucker in the back of his throat. Look at that, let's go. Freaking ate it the same way as reeling it back, he just ate it right there. That's weird, they must be slow, or I'm, I don't know if they're slow. I might just be getting a little reaction bite on them, but that's a good fish right there. There he goes. Heck yeah, that was like a few casts right after the last. Let me tell you, this is not a jig video, but I mean, if they're gonna eat it, I'm gonna throw it a little bit. Let me tell you that. I got another one. Oh my God, he's big. Big, 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 big. I can't even move him. This is the next cast. Oh my God. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. I got a freaking tank. Next cast. Oh, he's big. No way. No freaking way. Look at that fish. <laughs> That's a tank and a half on the freaking jig next cast. Are you kidding me? We were just saying if they're going to eat it, then they're going to eat it. Oh my God, look at that fish. Alan's got one down there too. All right guys, first fish of the day. Uh, Noah's chucking that big swim bait. Oh, he got him one too. He just showed me his. He's over there, all the way over there. And uh, he just caught one. Looks about the same size. I'm throwing actually a Booyah one knocker, trap one knocker, and uh, catch this big one. Goes. God, dog, I can't believe that. We just caught a three the cast before. Catch a freaking four, four and a half pounder? Okay. There he goes, beautiful bass. That is why I love fishing right there. And he actually spit up a little bluegill, you see that? Oh gosh, that's crazy, it's happening quick. That other corner had him. I'm convinced this corner has it too. Might not be as good, but there's definitely a fish right here that's catchable. I just caught three right there, just almost back to back. Oh, he hammered me. He's got it. Oh, he's good. Oh my God. 
That's a big one. That is a big one. Oh my gosh, that's a big one. Oh my gosh. Holy crap. There's no way. Look at that beast. I'm I'm thinking he's he's well over five, dude. He's definitely over five and a half. Look at that. I'm thinking he's pushing that six number. He's freaking big. He's heavy. That's a beautiful bass right there. That is a very, very quality bass. Been out here for a few minutes. Caught a four and a half. And it's caught a six, caught a three, back to back. What the heck? Beautiful toad right there. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. That's a tank, dude. Yeah, that's that's a mule. Oh, God. Let's go. That's what we do here on Kick of the Bass Heck TV, yeah. baby. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, you need to do so right now. If I catch another freaking five, six pounder right here on the jig, I'm gonna flip. We honestly might just have to change the video. <laughs> no big swim baits, micro jigs on the bottom. I mean, that sucker creamed it. I mean, straight up, thunk, one hard hit, he was on there. That's the best jig bite ever. And that's how you usually know he's a big one. Just thump that thing hard once. Oh yeah. I got another one. Big. Oh my God, this is like an eight. This is like an eight or nine. Oh my God, oh my God. Holy crap. Oh, you know. Oh my God. Guys. Oh my God. Oh my God. Guys, I'm walking back. Oh my God. Get ready for this, guys. Get ready. Dude, that is a freaking behemoth. That is every bit of eight and a half pounds right there. I don't care what anybody says. Look at that freaking mule. Holy crap. That is a tank, dude. When he jumped out, I had a heart attack. That is a freaking slob. Dude, what is going on right now, Alan? What is going on? Oh my God. Dude, tanks are hitting the bank really? up there. Tanks. It's hard for me to come over here, Alan, Bob, when I caught a six and an eight <laughs> on a jig. Let's go. What a beautiful bass. Always release these things. I believe in catch and release, especially on these big bass. I mean, these things are old. That is a freaking. And then there's gonna be comments in the comment section. That's a four. Okay. Bro, that is a big bass. That Alan. is a big fish. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, that's probably the biggest one I've caught this in a while. That's every bit. Oh, oh, oh god, I was not expecting that. Dude, the fish out here. So healthy. Like I said, big swim bait video. If they're gonna eat a jig that good, I'm sorry. This might just be a jig video because for me to catch a three, a four and a half, a six, an eight, it's going up. It started at one pound, three pound, four and a half, six, and an eight. What am I gonna catch a, a 10? I have a heart attack. Let's go, Alan Let's Bob. Go. Oh my God, he's got me. Oh my God, there's no way. There's no way. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Let's go, baby. Just a three pounder. Choked that jig. Choked. Ch I mean, that thing was in the back of his throat. Look at that. About a three pounder. <laughs> he is a fatty too. That is, that is so insane. He didn't upgrade. We didn't upgrade from the last one. I don't know if we're gonna be able to do that today. That was, that was a moose, man. Oh my God, my heart is racing. That's so good. I think I'm going to talk about a little bit how I'm fishing this. About five, I'd say up to 10 to 15 foot off the bank, there's a slight drop off. But with that slight drop, drop off, there's a lot of shell and it's like a hard bottom. And those fish are just staging on it really well. It's not that far of a drop off. You know, it's just a few foot. But when you have a shallow area like this where, you know, say we're in six foot and you have a two, three foot drop off to eight or nine foot, that's, that's a big drop off for shallow water. So that's something to really pay attention to. And that's exactly what I'm doing right now. And it is holding the big ones. Let me tell you, I got another one. Big. Another three and a half pounder right there. Next cast. Uh, that's exactly what I'm saying. It is holding the big ones. They are on the shell and it is incredible. I have, I've just, I'm honestly already mind blown. I've, I've had a time already 
by just hopping this jig right on the edge of that and it's happening every single time and i'm not really working it difficult you know i'm just working it very basic just hopping it but i'm really paying attention to that bottom i'm feeling that bottom and this is unbelievable and the way that they're eating this jig tell me that they don't want it it's just unbelievable everyone is in the back of their throat that's a solid two and a half two and three quarters i mean it's just happening guys i the only thing i can do is just tell you tell you what i'm doing and maybe you guys can go apply that towards you know a lake nearby or a pond nearby but that's what i'm doing and it's happening i gonna be honest with you guys i have no idea what alan bob's doing if i was him i'd be over here fishing something on the bottom whacking these biggins but it's all right <laughs> i'll catch them man i cannot believe how many fish are down there on freaking real i got another one. Oh my god no way that's like four casts in a row what the heck that's a three and a half he might not he might be three and a quarter i don't know he might be three he's a hefty guy he's thick this is every cast guys i feel like it's four casts in a row I can't believe how many fish are stacked right here. Beautiful old bank fishing bass right there on the jig. There's nothing better than that bite right there. Heck yeah, put on a show, baby. Big? Oh my God. How big was he? It was an eight, bro. Come did, on. Did you not see uh, him, bro? Was it on a fish head or bro, a trap? Oh, yes. Fish head? Yes. Dude. Bro, he hit it. He came, I saw him like he freaking came up. Cut it off. Oh my god. He was that big? Bro, every bit of eight. You just have a fray in your line, you think? No. Dude, what? Where'd he eat it? Just right, right there? Here. Yeah, he ate it there. Like he thumped it. Oh my god. That's good. I got him. Oh my god. It's a big one. God. Look at that. Three, three and a half on the jig, man. God, look at that. <laughs> so stupid. Look at that. Another big one. I might have to toss him because I can't get down by the water. So, God, this thing's fat. Yeah. All right, baby, got another one on the jig. Just came over to another side, just a little adjustment. He didn't eat it like the other ones, but he almost pulled the rod out of my hand. Still a beautiful fish, he's long. He just needs some weight on him. Still quality. There you go. Thank you. Dude, throw in there. You got him? Like how big you talking? Oh my gosh. Yep, he ain't that big. He's big though. Mm. Solid yeah. four. four. Oh, he's bigger than that. He might be four and a half. There you go, Alan Bob. What'd you catch him on? On the old one knocker booyah. One knocker booyah. Black and gold. Fish started to come up in school. He threw right in there and yeah. boom. Four pounder just like that. Hammered it. Good job, Bob. Let's get it. I got him. Oh yeah. Oh yeah choked it let's go that just tells you that we're throwing the right bait like i said we were going to film a swim bait video but i mean when you're catching them that good and that big i mean why keep why even switch up man they're just tearing the jig up pretty little fish pretty all right you got him oh. dude i thought he had it <gasps> Oh my god. All right, Alan. All right, Alan. I'm letting you do this. Dude, how am I? Oh my god. Alan. Oh my god. That's what I'm saying. Hey, keep him in. Keep him in. Shit. Where'd he go? He's over there. Where at? Right to the right. Dude, there was one bigger than him with it. Dude, that would have been crazy if I had my jig ready to catch both of them. Dude, that's a big one. 
Bro, you had like a seven pounder oh. with it. Oh my god. Boom. Boom. That's all you gotta say. Dude. How many big ones are we gonna catch in one day? Bro. Hold them sideways. Uh. Dude, that's a moose. That's a moose and a half right there. On the jig. I was telling Alan Bob cast out. Was that your first? That was your first cast, right? Jig, yeah, first Dude, I'm telling time. you, they are like on the shell out here. Oh my god. <laughs> when he was reeling this thing in, tell me about that. When? When you're reeling it in and there's another one with it. Oh, <laughs> dude. So I cast it out there. Didn't get a bite all the way up here. He tanked it. All of a sudden, I get this fish to the bank and this bigger one follows it. Like, <laughs> wanted to take my jig out of this guy's mouth. I grabbed mine. Yeah. I tried to toss it in, but he's gone by the time. But man, that's a good there fish, go. Alan. Good job. One more last shot. One more shot. Tank. Let's get him out. Some tanks. The haters are going to roast you, Alan. They're going to call it a two. Sorry, right, though. We've seen it with our eyes, man. There he goes. Okay, give me some for that one. Boom. Beat it up, beat it up. Keep it up, keep it up. They gon' try you. They can't try you. Eat it up, eat it up. Pac-Man, Pac-Man. Pac-Man, Pac-Man. Pac-Man, Pac-Man. Pac-Man, Pac-Man. Pac-Man, Pac-Man. Whoa. Beat it up, beat it up. Keep it up, keep it up. They gon' try you. They can't try you. Eat it up, eat it up.